Welcome to Rick Rack Ruby. I'm Laura Cluvo. Today we'll make this simple felt fairy Christmas ornament. She's made with three half circles of felt. Many of my projects use a scallop circle and I'm always saying that you could just use a regular circle. So in this tutorial, I will show you how to use three half circles of felt to make this fairy Christmas ornament. She's fun and easy, so let's get started. To make the updated fairy ornament, here's what you'll need. A completed 14 millimeter face, red tulle, six inch wide tulle, red and white baker's twine, hair for the yarn, a paper flower, some white rickrack, then three patterns, they're all half circles, five and a half inches for the dress, two and a half inches for the wings, and one and three quarters for the hat. You can use any color of felt that you like. Here's what I've chosen. Red for the dress, white for the hat, and aqua for the wings. This is the super stiff, thin felt. I got this at Hobby Lobby. They didn't have the aqua turquoise color in the stiff, so I just got regular felt and it works just fine. Of course, I also have my glue gun, my sewing machine, my scissors, and my basic sewing supplies. Let's get started. I've cut out my felt. There's the dress, the wings, and the hat. First thing I wanna do is sew some trim. You can use any trim. I will use Rick Rack around the edge of the dress and the edge of the wing. This just gives it a little bit more interest. I'll be right back. Here's my hat and my dress with the Rick Rack sewn on and here's a Rick Rack Ruby Pro tip. I use white thread on top and then I match the bobbin thread to the color of felt so that when I sew this together there won't be a line of, of white thread showing on the inside of the dress or the back of the wing. I also cut this little strip for the arms. It's three inches long and uh, between an eighth and a quarter of an inch wide. The next thing to do is to fold this in half and stitch up the straight edge. The wing piece does not need to be sewn, but the hat does. The hat is so small I didn't even want to try to add trim to it but I'll sew up those straight side of each one of these to create the back of the dress and the back of the hat. I've sewn my dress seam together with a quarter inch seam allowance and my hat with about an eighth inch seam allowance. Then I trim the corners to make it easier to turn. There we go, nothing to it. And then the hat is a little bit more challenging because it's so small, but I can use a needle, a blunt needle to, to help pull the tip out. There we go. Cut off two 12 inch lengths. Uh, that's probably more like 15, let's be honest, but you only need 12. Two 12 inch lengths of red tulle and about another 12 inches of baker's twine and tie the tool off in the center. This will become the hanging loop. So in order to, to get it through the top of the dress, I'm gonna thread these ends onto a needle. Then I'll sew that through the point. Try to get it right in the middle there and then through the head bead from the bottom to the top. Make sure the face is in the front so it's opposite the seam. And then I'm gonna put a little smudge of glue in the back there to secure the head. There we go. I'm not quite ready to tie off the top yet, but I will trim that extra tool. Here's the arm. I'll fold the arm piece in half, put a little bit of glue right there in the fold, place that at the, place that at the back of the neck, and then 
overlap the arms in front like this. A little spot of glue on each hand like that. And then of course I've selected a turquoise flower, but you can choose any color of felt, any color of flower, any color of twine, any color of hair, whatever you like. Now it's time for the hair. This hair is kind of thin, I don't need too much. I'll just do three loops in front and three loops in back. One, two, three. Leaving a generous tail, wrap around the center and tie it off. One for the back and one for the front. One, two, three. Circle around and tie it off in the center with a square knot. I'll put a generous amount of glue on the back of the head and press the hair in behind the hanging loop. I added a little bit more glue to make sure that that is stuck nice very firmly to the head. Then for the second little bundle of yarn, we're gonna glue that to the front, right in front of the hanging loop. Then I'll add glue to the side, twist and press. Twist and press. And then the same thing for this side. Glue on the side, twist, twist the hair toward the back. Kind of need a lot of glue. It'll be covered by the hat. Now I'm gonna put my, I'm gonna thread this back onto my needle. Okay. And then through the tip of the hat. There we go. Originally I made the hat blue and the wings white, but I felt like there was not enough contrast between the hair and the wings when the wings were white, so I'm gonna try this combination this time. You could make the hat any color you like. I'm going to glue this to secure. I'm actually gonna put, almost fill the whole hat with glue. and press that on securely. And then tie off that hanging loop. And finally, add the wings. There's a circle of glue in the top center. And I'll glue that to the back of the head. Adorable. Thank you for watching my tutorial. If you're enjoying my videos, please like, share, and subscribe.